So let's say we're going to be creating a filter that's going to hide the values from the column one with index value of one using this criteria. So in this case, the criteria that we're setting up is removing out the apple and oranges. So run the code and then we see that the filter gets applied. It hides the column, the content from column one and accordingly to what the criteria, filter criteria was. And that's all done with App Script. This example, we do have a spreadsheet with some data in the spreadsheet, and we're going to attempt to create a filter that's going to hide values, the apple and the orange values that are within the spreadsheet. So going into extensions, app script, open up your script editor, and here we create a function. And this function is going to be called create filter. And this is the function that we're going to be running in order to create the filter. So first up, we grab the spreadsheet and we're going to select the spreadsheet by name. So using the spreadsheet app service, we get the active spreadsheet. That's going to give us the spreadsheet object. And we can output these into the logger just to make sure that we're selecting the proper object. So run the code, create the filter, and you should see spreadsheet here within the info object. So that means that we've got the spreadsheet and then we want to select the sheet. And we're just going to be selecting a particular sheet, uh, selecting it by name. So we use the spreadsheet object, and then we use the get sheet by name and add in the string value of the name of the sheet. And in this case, the sheet that we're selecting is going to be sheet two. And then you can also output this into the log as you're building it. And if you want to do any debugging of the application, so we don't have anything named sheet two. That's because I added in the space there. So it's actually without a space. So we need to make sure that the name is correct. And that's a one way that you can catch it. If you return back null, that means that there was no spreadsheet or sheet by that name that was found. And so what we want to do next is we want to select the range from the sheet. And then there you could just use the get data range. So it's going to select the full available range. You can also limit the range by selecting specific range values with your rows and columns that you want to select. But in this case, we want to select them all. We're going to next select up a value for the criteria. And this is using the spreadsheet app service. And then the function that we're using is create a, to create a new filter. So new filter criteria. And this is going to be an object. So we can add in the hidden values. And this is expecting the argument to be as an array. So within an array, and then you can have a number of string values. So in this case, we're going to add in apple, and then we'll also add in orange. So those are the two values that we're looking for that we're going to be finding and hiding. And then we build the function for that. And then that's going to return back the object as criteria. And you can also output that into the logger as you're developing this. It's not going to say anything. It's going to have the filter criteria. And then now you can use the filter criteria in order to create and set your filter on the column. So let's then select the filter object. And using the range, we get the filter object. And if there is no filter, so if the filter doesn't exist within the sheet, we need to create it. So this is where we can use the range and we create the filter. So one way uh, we're selecting the existing filter and the next, if the filter doesn't exist, then we've got the operator where it will just create the filter. So this will always return back some type of filter. And you can also output that into the log. So for that, you should see that you've got a filter that you've selected from the sheet. And once you've got the filter, then you can set the column filter criteria and whatever column that you want to use. So select the first column and then using the criteria that we just created within the criteria object. So let's uh, run the code and we'll see what happens. So what happened is it ended up filtering out the sheet contents. So contain it's the criteria was can to hide the values that are apple and orange in the first column of the sheet. So sheet number one, so it hid those. Uh, let's add in some more here. And we'll run the code again. 
So that will always be removing out if we have the apple or orange, but it's okay to have the orange in the column B. And then if you want to remove out the filters under the data, you can do the filter views, or you could just remove out the filter. And that's removing out the filter where we're selecting the orange, the apple. You can add in other string values. And you can also do it, you can change in the columns. So if we want to go under column number two, so right now it's going to filter the only the apple and oranges under the filter number two. So that added that in and removed out where we've got the orange. So we had two instances of orange. Both of those got removed. If we add this into the column number three, it's just using the index value for the column. So in this case, it's not going to find anything. So the filter isn't going to produce anything. If we do have a value of apple here, and we run the code that will create the filter and hide that filtered object. And then just remove out the filter when you want to reset it. So this is an option that you can use in order to use app script in order to create a filter.